What's up, YouTube? KJX1337 here again. And uh, we're logging into the game for the first time today, I believe. Uh, I could be wrong. Um, okay, so we have this stuff here. We have a small Mythic Bundle. It's my favorite purchase. Um, I do not have the funds for that right now, though. But I'm hoping within the next two days before it ends, I might be able to get one. Um, apparently I did log in this morning already, or, um, I got my rewards last night because I was up pretty late till probably two o'clock, a little later, maybe in the morning. Um, yeah, it's day 10. That's, that's where we're at. Day 10. Uh, so we already got those. I don't know, like I said, if that happened earlier this morning. Because I believe it rolls over at 1 a.m. where I'm at. Um, as you see, it's a quarter after 9 while I'm recording this. Uh, I went to bed. Woke up super early. Um, took my wife to work. We're down to one vehicle right now. So, you know, that was a smart decision on my end. And by smart, I mean really stupid. So I apologize if I'm dragging ass through this video. Uh, I'm excruciatingly tired. But I know at this point, if I lay down for a nap, I'm going to crash hard. And I probably wouldn't wake up to an alarm. And I have uh, things to do in a couple hours. So I just have to stay awake. Um, but yeah, apparently I decided I was still youthful that two to two and a half hours of sleep was plenty to run on. Bad decision. Anyway, we're going to check out whatever we got going on. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, but the main thing that we're here to do today is to check out Swole. And I can tell you right now, I'm researching Bobby. And it'll be done in just over two hours. And we're going to gem it. Because I'm impatient. Um, so we're going to come back to it though. We'll, we'll do swole after we check out whatever else is going on. Uh, so let's do our challenges first. Let's go ahead and knock the butter junk challenges out of the way. Um, because if I don't get to those in this video and then I get busy later, um, this one will end, and I will have missed my last eight plays. So we're just going to auto-battle these ones because they're pretty boring. Uh, then we're going to play the other challenges for you guys um, because I don't do challenge videos very often. And then we're going to evaluate how many uh, Wonder Wharf coins we have. We're just going to ignore that you get coins from Swole, especially considering I'm going for wins and I probably won't get any. Uh, I did get lucky last night at about, oh, I don't know, midnight, 1 o'clock in that range. I went ahead and played my Swole finally for yesterday, and I did pull off two wins. So I took down level 65 and level 66, I believe. So I'm thinking we're on level 67 is where we're going <clears> to <throat> pick up from. Sorry. And I can kind of show you guys um, my progression because it's a little overdue. Uh, we are we are uh, nearing the end of Swole, so there's not going to be a ton of time left to do any like major investments, I don't think. Um, it would have been really nice, though, if I could have got Leela up to the 200% Futurama health. Because the cards are starting to get insane. And it, it only keeps getting harder. I've seen video footage of people. Uh, in fact, this morning, I know it's kind of an older video. But I watched uh, Magician Jaso. And he was playing level 81 and level 82. Um, in his video, level 82 caught him up. And if you watch that video on his channel... You will understand why. 
Uh, that, that Viking Peter, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> insane. Absolutely insane. <clears throat> so I know that it's, uh, it's not going to get any easier from here on out. Uh, my main goal is to get to 70. Just to hit that next milestone. Might be able to bump me up in uh, the tier ranking to see uh, where I'm going to finish. I do not believe there is any way, though. <clears throat> Excuse me. Man, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, I don't believe there's any way for me to level my Bob to level 3 like I want to. Uh, that would be nice, but... I guess uh, we won't really know until the end, but I'm thinking the chances for that are slim to none. So, got two more of these to go. get this last battle out of the way here <clears throat> uh, ministry of darkness is recruiting um, it's the guild I'm in currently I'm an officer in there um, we have a lot of solid dudes in there uh, it's a good group of people and we really just want to we want to make a uh, make things happen and and be one of the better guilds out there so <clears throat> we do have a couple spots open Pretty laid back uh, requirements, basically. Um, the only only ones we really have is, you know, um, read chat, say hello, um, follow siege instructions, play your rumble matches, and um, we are looking for 1,000 SFC score or higher. I think uh, we might make exceptions on that, though, as there are still a handful of our members who are in the, like, eight and 900 range. Uh, but there you'll see we got a couple people who have been inactive. Uh, I believe two or three of those, though, are alts of the active members we have. Um, and then, as you'll see, there's three spots there. So we have between three and six spots, basically. Um but it, it's a great guild. Um, like I said, we, we are recruiting, so if that's something you'd be interested in, um, look me up online, KJX1337, or I, I think it is it is public at the moment. Um, so we're set at public, so if you scroll through, I mean, we're not going to be at the front of the list right now with only 47 members, so you might have to keep scrolling through guilds for a little bit. Uh, but find us and uh, join our team, and you too can succeed with the Ministry of Darkness. Alright, sorry about that guys, I did pause the video for a minute, um, went and blew my nose. Uh, just kind of feel stuffy this morning, uh, I'm not sure why that is. But anyway, let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and do these uh, grill battle challenges. Oh, did I get it off in time? Yes, okay, good. That autoplay was on. I don't like that. Uh, let's see, we got KHXCTIC. From Necrogoblicons, that's difficult to pronounce. Y you know what, we might do Bender's Weapons here. Uh, it's going to shield Boomhauer for even more. And the bomb is bigger to help take out Swap Bob, as he is a difficult card with that um, high amount of wall. So that was probably our best option. 
At this point, it's risky. Do we want to drop a fighter card? Or do we want to drop Peggy? I'm thinking Peggy. Uh, let's just hope Dale doesn't punch her. That's right, I forgot Roger has that jab. So yeah, he did quite a number on our Bender's weapons there. Um, let's see what we can't get done here, though. Get the heels in. Not quite, Bender's weapons is not full. And that was odd. Uh, I did not end that. That just kind of happened. Very irritating when I receive random phone calls, especially when the number's from Texas and I live in Indiana. <laughs> uh, also, when they call and hang up after probably one ring on their end. Uh, they just got to interrupt my video, I suppose. Bud the Wise from Penguin Queefs. Well, that's interesting, I suppose. Uh, and they're just going to keep throwing cards out there. That's really irritating. Uh, we need to knock out one of their cards. Hopefully, Sportsbot's gone this turn. Nope, of course not. Oh, and of course, we're going to throw a fourth card out. Just ruin my chances for a perfect. At this point, we're going to be taking out the first three slots now all at once, so... And they combo in slot four. The first combo they throw out at us. This is ridiculous. Well, we're just going to win it. There's no, uh, no stopping the damage. A lot of level twos. A lot of plus twos, sorry. Uh, like I said, I'm extremely tired. Uh, we're up at 74, so things will probably get pretty intense soon. Uh, at least for me. Let's see, what do we want? I really think we want to do Christmas Punch out here. Uh, but at the same time, we don't want to leave card slot 2 open. So we'll throw down our long stick. And of course, there's the third card. It is a non-stop battle to chase them down. Can we get rid of Stan this turn? Probably not, because he's armed, so he gets the shield as well. Maybe. Of course not. And of course, there's another card. Well, at this point, I don't have an ideal card to um, keep running out a wall with. So, I guess we'll just drop our quad Peter on the outside there. Uh, at least we will break through the barrier. Uh, finally. Oh, whale killer. Savage.
and they are piling mass amounts of damage onto us. It's not looking great. Derek won from the Illuminati. At this point, there's not really a great option to go with. Um, long stick sharp rock has taken some serious damage, unfortunately. And that's probably only a one. Yep. Uh, a one is better than a negative three, though, so we'll take it. Like I said, sorry if uh, I sound groggy or monotone. I'm sure I do. I probably naturally do, honestly. But uh, like I said, I'm I'm pretty tired today. I just really wanted to make a video for you guys, uh, basically because I I mentioned swole a couple days ago, and then there was no swole. Uh, the video cut out early. I did mean to uh, leave an apology for that. I had to uh, retry to upload it to YouTube, though, which made me retype out the uh, title and the description. And I do believe, thinking back to that, when I retyped it out, I was in a hurry and I did not mention that the video cut out randomly. Um, in case anyone is wondering, the, the uh, match that I was facing at the end of that video, I did pull off the win and then I proceeded to lose the next match. So... Uh, whatever that would have been. And then I went ahead and stopped since I was no longer recording anyway. And wasn't on a win streak. So I think that was only probably 13 matches total then. But uh, that is what I got through in case you were wondering. This is what the fact dag. Um, and he's guildless. And... Uh, <clears throat> Glad to see flag football there, though. Really hate to let flag football hit us, but our fashion wrestling will die next turn if we don't combo. So, either way, we're not getting a great score on this one. We just have to make sure we win. I uh, really thought at first that this was just going to be a uh, power card deck only. But as you see there, there's flag football and a slew back, so... That was just the luck of the draw, I guess. Well, let's go ahead and lay Bob down here in slot three. And we're going to go ahead and make Kyle and Peggy here because that slew back uh, is just going to keep causing damage if we don't knock it out fast. Uh, Powder Puff will die here. And Slewback will now die here as well. And we'll just go ahead and make Swim Teacher Bob, and that'll finish it off for us. Plus two, all right.
Uh, this is Sorients from Dank Fam. Let's go ahead and lead off with our Archer and Kung Fu. Uh, they clearly have a fighter deck going. Um, this is unfortunate. So they're going to keep laying cards down. Oh, and a bad Tina. My bender is going to die. But we're just going to go ahead and make 430 appointment anyway at this point then. Now, if she punches elsewhere, Bender will live. Nope, nope, she just took out Bender. Uh, <laughs> okay, I swear that Bad Tina uh, is designed to always hit the card in front of her. Whereas anybody else with a punch is just random. Bad Tina is just like on a mission to kill the... Oh, there she goes, proving me wrong. Uh, let's go ahead and get Robot House down. And then next turn, we'll go ahead and drop the Hatchet Boomhauer. Uh, that would have been a good one to put against her. Um, but I did not have that yet when she dropped Tina and then comboed. There we go, get her out of the way. And Bobby's going to get the Motivate there, so he's still going to get a hit. That's all right. We'll drop our hatchet. And we'll win it this round right here. Um... I don't think it matters, but let's go ahead and play Pawtucket. It's our highest HP card right now. Uh, I doubt that's the differential between a 1 and a 2, but uh, just in case, let's do that. And this is definitely a plus 2. We get five more to go. Uh, might have to just kind of play these less strategically or less commentative just so we can get through them faster uh, to make sure there's plenty of time for Swole. So let's go ahead and lead with the hatchet. Can hang there. Slaying tonight. I do not like that combo. It's not bad if you're running an all armed deck, though, but I, uh, I don't care for it much. Flip zero seven from only the brave guy tired. Another plus two for us there.
This is the Tony from Lunatics. Let's go and lead with our Archer and Kung Fu. Now we're going to do Congo Jack here and hope that our fashion wrestling doesn't die. Um, I think it will though, but Congo Jack with a 21 jab is going to get straight through that 16 wall and washboard bender. So we, we might be able to take out Antichrist uh, if the punches land in the right place from the uh, fighter cards, but we'll see. Oh, that one went to the wrong spot, but I think with the bomb damage, yes, okay. So our fashion wrestling lives to see another day. Um, let's go ahead and do stick and hank in slot one to get those heels across the board. Um, also, I'm not going to quite take out Peter. Unless we get them out. Okay, I was hoping for the punch there. And the rock and a Peter Bobby Bobby. Get that clown out of here. And then we'll do a jealous Bobby there. Uh, just keep increasing that health wall on Congo Jack. That's nuts. And let's see where this punch goes. Oh, I went to Hank. Uh, if Hank can heal here, um, heal enough, that is, to start of the turn, we might take a... Oh, I think we just got a three. Very nice. And there it is. Plus three. <clears throat> This is Drew's dad from Rogue Sand Warriors. Um, what's up, Drew's dad? <laughs> Get our Arcturian Kung Fu out there. Give Hatchet Boomhauer that big motivate there. Um, You know what, if I do that, he's going to gain two, plus his apple, give him one. In theory, we can knock out Football Stewie if I do Sensei Ryan here. So let's go ahead and do that. Now oh, the 14 jab will get through the 14 wall. There it is. Boom. Get that Mythic out of here. Uh, I'm not too worried about a sports bot. Um... Let's see, who do we want to play though? Let's do Peter in hopes we get a get a fighter card to make chicken fight. That'd be a good one. And both their cards are gone this turn. Which means we gotta get Hatchet Boomhauer healed up. And there it is, Fashion Wrestling for the chicken fight. So this is gonna be a victory this round. Um, unfortunately, Hatchet Boomhauer is not full health, so. That's a shame. Just annihilation. 56, 41, 34. Lots and lots of attack on the field. <clears throat> two to go. Uh, like I said, I I'm going to just fly through these two and not even say anything. So feel free to skip ahead. Might be kind of boring. Uh, first, though, shout out Nordic T. I don't know this member, but I love that guild.
All right, guys, I uh, went ahead and, as you probably just noticed there, unless you skipped ahead, I just surrendered the last battle. Um, didn't catch the name. The guild was Brew Happy Pub. I know them. They're really good. Uh, anyway, they annihilated me. Um, currently ranked 592nd. Wouldn't it be nice if we could stick there? Um, but anyway, let's go to the shop. Oh, I got 7,500. Um, we're going to do hero token crates today. Um, we might stick with hero token crates for a little while, actually. Um, just because, uh, at least until we can get a character to level 11, we're going to stick with hero tokens. There, that's the guy, Steve. Uh, not that I would ever want to play as Steve. But Steve is the one that is now the closest. Uh, as you see there, he's a little over two-thirds of the way. Uh, so you may see a video coming very soon that's going to be... Nice, almost got a level 10 Hank now. Um, you might see a video coming soon that's going to be just SFC fights uh, where I might actually pick and choose battles trying to find Steve tokens. That can be time-consuming, but we'll see. All right, level eight, Ricky Spanish. All right, level eight, Gene. Got some characters moving on up. All right, level 10, Hank. It's a 50, nice. I don't care which character. I, I mean, I do. I wish that was Steve. That would have been my level 11 right there. But uh, nice, though, 50. That's really rare. I'll take it. And a 25 for Stewie is now level 10. Awesome. Well, hell, that was pretty solid. Good choice to go with hero tokens. And apparently that counts as my daily packs for the day, too, which I forgot about. So that's nice. Um, so you got Bobby at 10, Stewie at 10, Luis at 9, Steve at 10. Closest one to 11 there, though. Uh, Bender's four away from 10. Dale's at 10, Brian's at 10, Bob's at 10, Roger's at 10, Leela's at 10, Peter's at 10, Tina's at 9, Stan's at 10, Fry's at 10, Hank's at 10, and you get to the special heroes, Consuela's at 9, uh, Giant Chicken's only at 4, Ricky Spanish at 8, Gina at 8, Redcorn at 6, Zap at 8, and Zoidberg at 6. So, 
there you have it with our characters. Um, let's swap our deck over real quick and get to get to the Swole Club. Really impressed they gave us that plus 50 uh, for Hank. That was pretty cool. All right, into the Swole Club we go. Um, we shaved off, you know, 36 minutes from the timer. Saves us a little bit of gems. It's only 80 to finish it. Um, why it pops up like that, I don't know. There we go. Got that punch from a 50% to 150%. Hoping that's going to make a difference for us. Um, now we need to reassign someone. And I actually had some good luck with uh, with the cripple and the cripple all. So I'm thinking Tina and Zoidberg are going to be important here. But at the same time... I'd like to try to get a little bit of training done um, for Ricky Spanish and for Gene to get some, uh, some, um, oh, that brick wall sturdy. That's right. That's what it's called. And, uh, and the craze there. So, uh, let's go ahead and start Ricky. Uh, it's only an hour training time. So I'll be working on those throughout the day on the smaller ones, uh, to get as many done today as I can. As you see, their event ends in seven days and three hours. So that's why I'm saying uh, Leela is, it's a, see, I wouldn't have the time at this point. Um, Cause the next one would be rank eight for the uh, thousand percent swole coin increase. And that's a four day timer, which means that the 200% health is uh, probably a five day timer. And uh, four and five is nine, unfortunately, not seven. So that is uh, not feasible to try to get her up any higher. Uh, so we'll just kind of work on other traits that are in our deck. Like I said, uh, leaning towards sturdy, cripple, cripple all, and crazed. Uh, trying to get those up just a little bit, hoping that it'll help. So yeah, so we're on 67, like I said. Um, let's see if that punch makes a difference for us. So if we can't win one or two for you guys, uh, winning one a day is uh, the best I hope for. So yesterday was actually phenomenal to get two wins. Well, Red Rodriguez has a pretty good punch. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, so let's see. It's a 40 now. Unfortunately, both those Stewies are looking pretty solid right now. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, we're in trouble now. Sniper Stewie. Ooh. Yeah, that's bad news bears right there. Uh, let's get bending school down. Just because it's got a little bit of hijack. It's not much. Six versus the 19, but... Oh, nice, actually. Um, that sniper Stewie is going to be problematic still, but at least we were able to get rid of Santa Stewie. Uh, we don't want to play that with the motivate. Uh, Sniper Stewie will just grab it. Uh oh. And for some reason, uh, Red Rod wants to keep punching slot one. And at this point, I'm pretty sure we're boned, so.
Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, it's over. Let's just surrender that one. We'll try again. Uh, we did not receive like any combos from the get-go uh, other than Red Rod a couple turns in that had punch. So with that being the uh, most recent increase for our deck, uh, you know, we're going to need uh, to hopefully get a lucky hand with some punch. In theory, like Zap's punch now should be... Um, I believe it should be nine now, but he's he's applying to someone as well. <clears throat> uh oh. Laser, razor. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's over. Yeah. Uh, she's already up at 109 attack, plus the 45 punch. Yeah, it's over. Um, we'll play this one out anyway, but there's no... No way to win. We'll just do that. Take that 16 damage. <laughs> uh, so as you can see, it's pretty tricky up here. Um, you may or may not be farther along than I am. Um, gemming out Bobby to be finished early there. Um, this is the first time in a little while now that I've I've jammed on Swole. However, the first few days, uh, I was just really, really ready and eager to get my Bob. So I did uh, fork out some money early on. Um, it's probably a dumb move, but let's try a uh, drunk fry and see what happens. And he hits us with an RC helicopter. Yeah, unfortunately, Drunk Fry didn't really get anywhere. If only he had one more turn, then we'd actually be able to take out the RC helicopter. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. I feel like we just got gypped. Uh, if you watched the way that uh, Diamond Crusher's health just went up and down. Um, I'm pretty sure we just got ripped off. I'd have to go back and watch it for sure to understand why it did that. But I would say this one's over. Yet again. Definitely safe to say it's over. Yeah, we'll 
go ahead and just surrender that. This uh, might be the last one I play for you guys on camera right now. Um, I might save the rest of those and play them tonight after I can get a couple more of the small 25% uh, increases on some of the other stats I talked about. Unfortunately, we just we didn't get anything uh, that we needed. So... The cards were not with us. 